How are we doing today, everybody? I am back with what we're gonna call um, River Talk. Is that good, Jordan? Because you know what we're gonna do? I have a gambler to test. I'm gonna get into it. Let's go right now. What are you doing today? Going, driving a boat. I'm gonna drive around for a little bit. What boat? Gambler, two and I. Get a Suzuki on. See what the world brings today, Jordan. What are you putting in there? Fishing pole. We gotta tell the camera. Fishing pole. Are we gonna catch them? Ah, uh, odds are we might catch one. It's been a while since I've been out, so only time will tell. But when you're breaking one in, you gotta do it the right way. Might fish a little bit. Make sure everything works, right? What are we doing down here today? We're gonna go drive a boat. We're gonna go drive a boat. What are your initial thoughts? Um, so far, some good, happy. Um, it's running smooth. Got good throttle response, mid-range. Really haven't gotten into it yet. Um, but that's just the nature of what we're doing right now. It, it's smooth, it's really smooth. I'm gonna work with uh, getting on plane here a little bit. I'm gonna get it back on plane, but so far, so good. Make a couple casts here, what do you think? Everybody wants to see me go fishing. Comment after comment, 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 and they want to see Andy fishing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go fishing for a little bit while we're out here breaking this thing in. Let's go drive around some more. Drive around, drive around, fish a little bit. Drive around, drive around, fish a little bit. What do you think, Jordan? Sounds like a good day. Sounds great. Comment after comment about whether or not I can still catch them. Well, you'll see. Just give it some time in the video. You'll see. Here you go. Clouds come and the clouds go. I think it's gonna rain. Give me your thoughts on the motor so far. Uh, happy so far. Very happy with the motor, um, performance-wise. Uh, had it at five last time getting it on plane. Got it right on plane. Six was good on plane. Um, I haven't had the jack plate up yet, still kind of dogging the motor around a little bit, lugging it, keeping it low. Um, had, it, had it up to, uh, what, we just over 5,000 RPMs, I think, 67 miles an hour, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to hit 70, no problem. It's going to just keep going. I had plenty of pedal left. So, um, I can feel it freeing up a little bit now, starting to loosen up just a little bit. Performance-wise, happy so far. Um, but... You know it's not going to be an overnight process it's going to take some time and uh, we'll get her dialed in it's just not going to it may not even be right away here because we're dealing with cold air right now you know, we're dealing with cold air cold water um 
come, come middle of summer, things may change a little bit for him. He's going to have to adjust to that. But that, that plate makes it way, way better to be able to adjust. So, um, so far, happy happy with the performance, uh, rigging the setup right now. Uh, it's going to need a bigger prop, I think. I just don't know that for a fact. We're running a 28 Scorpion on here right now, which is a very, it's not really a 28. Um, any of you guys that have seen that 28 Scorpion know it. It's comparable almost to a, almost a 30. It's a big prop. It's lifting the boat really good. Might be too good on the lift. We'll have to see once we get more time on it. Um, but so far, so good. I'm, I'm just really happy with performance. Just letting it sit here for a minute, letting it heat up. Um, obviously not running it while we're doing this. Uh, shutting it off, letting it sit, then go give it some more drive. Um, and then we'll probably get it back on the trailer start reassessing some of the issue of breaking it in with a probably a four blade we've got to got to go down that avenue um, not a four blade guy but we got to go down that avenue we'll go from there but so far happy definitely happy with the performance and the running the quiet the smooth the acceleration uh, mid-range is good like i said i haven't really beat on it yet it's just breaking it in and getting it so we get them first couple hours on it and then at least i know that when jeff gets it back that uh, he can just go do what he needs to do. So, yeah, happy. Be happier if I catch a fish. But I know there's a troll motor on the front, but it's not hooked up, so we're just kind of using it for setup purposes. So, kind of just casting, going, giving it a rest a little bit. Got your fish for you. I don't know what it is. Pretty good one too. Barely good. Barely good. I can still do this. I can still do this. Why not, right? Good. Good one. Good one. I'm gonna take a picture and send it back to Jackson. <laughs> Fish. 
What do you think? <laughs> Still do this thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Drive around a little bit. Stop at another one of these uh, spots. Seventy-two at fifty-two. That means yeah, it'll be eighty something probably by six grand, I think. So I've got on it right now a 28 Scorpion, which is a very large Scorpion. It's gauging more around 29 and a half probably. Uh, vent ports are wide open on it right now, and that's a three blade. I have a four blade 30 pitch um, Suzuki prop coming. And I also have found and am waiting patiently for a 29 and a half Bravo that I have coming. Um, that may be the prop that I think I might need, um, but I don't know. I don't know. So um, it, it's just uh, it's it's a waiting game on props. It's a waiting game on you know propping right now is difficult because there's no props available in the world. It's just like what do you do? Well, I think it was a successful little deal we did here, George. Yeah. We got some run time on. I proved that I can catch fish once in a while. Still. Um, started to rain on us a little bit. No trolling motor. Figured out that I gotta fix the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge isn't functioning. Fix, not an issue. Um, all in all, good deal. 72 is not an issue at 5200. I mean, we need to be up around six, so we got to get her up there. And I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not pushing it too hard, but it frees up really good. I mean, you could feel that. You could feel it really start to free up, and yeah get going lifting and doing what it should be doing so the boat is functioning correctly like i said it, it, it it's just a, it's a game right now and it's, it's a goddamn chess match and fight figuring out what where the plate needs to be where performance needs to be i mean this is a, this is a whole new deal remember this boat this boat probably physically wasn't built by any means for this engine right i mean this is a four stroke it's got more weight than normal um Got a hydraulic plate on it now. Didn't have one before. Uh, you know, the boat's the boat itself is. When they built it, they didn't think it was going to have this hanging off it. Let's just put it that way. So, we're battling modern technology, older stuff. Um, the nice thing is, you know, I got Heath to lean on with this, so we'll be able to call him and give him some numbers. And I mean, like I said, we don't have it yet. I'll, I'll drive it a little bit more probably tomorrow. Um, and I'll probably drive it again on Thursday for a little bit just to keep trying to get a couple more hours on it some time Obviously, I got to be at the shop fishing isn't making money, but it's making good TV 
right so um, luckily I just have the crew I have back there to be able to hold the shop down while I'm doing this uh, without that this, this stuff like this ain't possible being able to set people's boats up and stuff like that um, yeah I think I think it's gonna be a rocket ship I think it's just a matter of like I said it's all about setup and that type of stuff now and just finish finishing touches the little things of and some people uh, don't see it as little things but like props to me are little things because that's an easy fix and, and we don't know we I mean this this may be a thing where the scorpion is the prop but we got to get it shaved a little bit or we got to send it to you know we got to get a, some tweaks worked out of it we don't know you know um, and like I said as soon as that four blade comes in that I got hopefully it'll be here maybe later this week if not first part of next week so I can try that four blade too and um, and I just got to start trying some stuff so I know I can gauge now this was just all about getting some time on it so now I can just get in it and start doing different things and I can see the difference in what we're doing like I said right now I don't feel I can I haven't tried it yet but I don't feel I can get the top end that I should be getting out of it because this scorpion is going to overlift this prop or this boat it's literally just going to fucking throw it out of the water and um, I can I can handle it I can just got to adjust the plate to the trim and make it happen that way but I want it to be locked in and rocking and we got to just figure out what that is that's about where I'm at with it so is that what you wanted to hear kind of sort of America all right good the boat's beautiful um, this is probably one of the nicest gamblers I've been in for its age it is literally like I, I think if, if Keith Murphy saw this he'd probably want to put it in the shop and put it right next to the new stuff it's that it's in that good of shape the boat itself is in great condition I mean original seat uh, and it catches fish, so what the hell, right? It, it, it's a beautiful boat, so we're gonna take her back, get her on the trailer. So this is the first steps of the Gambler 209. Um, there's a lot more to go. But um, I was very happy with how it performed today. I was a little leery on how it's going to get on plane, um, not knowing where we were going to be with this thing. Um, be, like, like I say in the video, the boat was never built for what we're putting on. Never. It just wasn't built for that. So um, it's not like today's boats. It's just it, it wasn't built for that motor. Um, so not knowing what we're going to get into, right? Uh, we'll get in there. I ran up to six right away on the plate just to see if I could blow it out. Didn't blow it out, tipped it right over. Um, no blowout, uh, got on plane, got going, was able to run the plate down to one, um, started to trim. We kept it real low right away. We just kind of dogged it around, keeping it around that 2,000 to 3,000 area, keeping doing that stuff, um, varying the RPM as much as we can with that low lug for the first couple laps that we did. Um, ended up just slowly creeping it up, stepping it up, doing some things, getting in that window of range. Um, extremely happy with the performance so far um i don't think it's set perfectly yet i think that prop's got too much cup there's gonna be too much lift for that one but we ended up at the end by the time we were done i had it up to 5200 still pedal to go three quarters trim and jack plate at one to three and we had 5200 at 72 miles an hour so at 72 miles an hour so I was happy with that um, and there's a more of a window to go and we're not anywhere near where I think we're gonna be at the end <laughs> give me that football that's by my shit give me give me that football that's by my shit <laughs> yeah pick it up with the we got 72 out of it yeah. We got 72 out of it. I'm very happy with early break-in stages at 72, 5,200, 72 miles an hour. Um, extremely happy. It was, it's gaining every time. Like every time we do a lap or two laps, I can feel it starting to free up. I'm feeling it to get that mid-range grunt. Um, it's, it, I'm very happy with the on plane performance because those boats traditionally didn't get on plane this good. And this one, in my eyes, shoots on plane and it hasn't blown yet. So I want two more days at least of driving this thing and getting more hours on it. Um, 
before I can really gauge where I'm at. You know what I mean? I can't gauge anything quite yet because um, we got to be able to get long runs at wide open to see what happens. And that's going to be out on the main, main channel, not on the Black River. Um, but, you know, I think I'm very happy. I'm happy with how things are going with it. Um, no major catastrophes. Everything seemed to work. It functioned well. Jackplate worked. Um, I was just happy. Everything worked well. Everything was going well. Um, and there'll be follow-up video on this one, too. So I would expect two follow-up videos after this. So that's it. That's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you like this stuff, comment below. Comment what, what jackpot you're running. Bob's Atlas. Get that talk going. Um, comment on the video. Comment on what you're thinking. Um, we'd love to hear it. So does everybody else. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell to witness the madness. Well, that I hope all our viewers are soon to say. Speed. Money, no breaks. I'm out. See you.